Hello, Leopard fans. Welcome back to your Leopard Sports Show. I'm Joe Blaze Bush, along with my co-host Jackson Van Winkle. Our spring sports teams are all approaching the halfway points of their seasons. Now, Jackson, just how's soccer been doing? Well, Joe, our soccer teams are having a pretty solid start so far, with the boys being 6-2 and two and the girls sitting at 5-4. and four. Most recently, both our soccer teams defeated the Malvern Leopards Tuesday. The boys won 4-2, to two and the girls blew out Malvern 5 to nothing. Good halfway point, but a lot of work left to do. Our D Queen Leopard baseball team is having a great season so far, fighting to a record of 10 and 4. They're 3 and 3 in conference, so already one more conference win and three more total wins than last season. Most recently, they took down the Ashdown Panthers by a dominating score of 5 to nothing. Coach Ethan Crocker is ready to play one of their last non conference games versus Murfreesboro today. So we played Ashdown last week, come up a big win there, uh, 5 to nothing at home. We uh, played really good ball, we pitched well. Hit good, had some really big at bats and big moments with guys in scoring position there. Played Magnolia Monday. Uh, it was a tough loss. We just kind of, kind of come out sluggish. Uh, it was a very winnable game for us. And we slipped up on that one and uh, let them beat us that game. Yeah, we got we got Murfreesboro Thursday. That's a good non-conference opponent. Uh, take that as a good step to get ready for Friday. We traveled to Arkadelphia, which is a very big conference game for us. Too. A very winnable conference game that we should go and just hopefully compete and do what we can. Our Lady Leopard softball team is off to a hot start going 8-4 and four overall and 4-2 and two in conference. So far they will look to grab another non-conference win tomorrow hosting the Horatio Lady Lions whom they already beat earlier this season in Horatio. They most recently smoked Magnolia on the road. Caitlin Ponce was named player of the game for her performance. Coach Lights is happy with his girls performance so far and is looking forward to the rest of the season as they continue to improve. season has been going well. Uh, we're doing really well in conference right now. We are tied for third with Nashville. Uh, we're playing well right now, and we've got a big conference game coming up this Friday against Arkadelphia, and that will really help our seeding if we can win the ball game. We go, uh, actually, we play at home on Thursday against Horatio in a non-conference game, and we go to Arkadelphia on Friday for a huge conference ball game. Our pitching's been really good. Uh, catching's been uh, good. Our defense has been outstanding. Uh, we really hit the ball Monday against Magnolia, so I've been proud of everybody. Everybody's really stood out. Our track teams are showing their usual dominance, placing high meet after meet. Key performances by Ulysses Cotto, Stephen Peppers, and Donnie Whitmore, just a few guys that keep the team rolling. We finally tracked down Coach Bell and spoke with him about how his boys have been doing and what's to come. Uh, it's going good. We started with the uh, state indoor track <clears throat> in Fayetteville. Uh, we missed out uh, of second place by one point. Uh, we had a lot of good performances, the four by eight. Uh, you know, uh, set a personal best record up there. We had a couple of guys uh, set some PRs, you know, 207 and 206 in the 800, which is really good. Uh, since then, we've gone to Ashdown, and uh, we uh, got second. Uh, Again, had some really good performances. Uh, Ulysses Cotto, uh, his PR for pole vault was 9-6, and he ended up getting 11 foot. Uh, so we've had some guys do that. Had uh, Noah Virilia, uh, he's PR'd, and triple jump went from 37 or 38 to, you know, 40 foot. Uh, triple jump, uh, you know, Donye, uh Whitmore, and Stephen Peppers have uh, done really good in shot and disc, uh, you know, throwing 146 and 130. And Donye PR'd with throwing over 50 foot in shot. So uh, we've had some guys do some really good things, and uh, so we're looking forward to a few more track meets before we do uh, district and state. Uh, the main thing is, like I tell every kid, is show up and give us your best. Uh, you got to practice like you want to compete, uh, so you can't come to practice and you know not give your all. Uh, you got to push it, and so uh, the main thing is for everybody to make sure they're keeping up with their training and their nutrition and taking care of the body. I w I wasn't really stressed. It's just. Have fun and do your best. That's all you got to do in track these days. Because if you stress about it, it's going to be harder and harder. To be able to compete, you have to have the team. I mean, the team's a big part of it. But me, I just got to train hard, work hard, and just do my best and have fun. That's all the Leopard Sports we have for you this week. Don't forget our Lady Leopard softball team plays the ratio here today. And the Box Out Minor soccer teams will travel, travel here to play both our soccer teams today. So watch our social media pages for updates on those games. Have a great weekend, everyone. And remember, it is always a great day to be a Leopard.